Hello, I'm Mary Fowler. I've been interviewing other people, asking them, why are you a Democrat? How did you come to that decision? And they've been telling me their stories, which are quite interesting. Um, but I thought, I have a story, too, to tell, and I am a Democrat, and I think I should share that, too. So let me do that. I find that the economy is as big an influence as either party on, on the way we live our lives and how well we are able to thrive either way. Um, and in fact, it's the economy that each of these parties tries to get a hold of and steer in ways that will be inclusive and make sure that everybody fr um, thrives. So Democrats are basically engineering protections within the economy that begin, well, it's called taxes, <laughs> and it is putting your hands in somebody else's pocket, but they feel that's necessary and good, and that there is plenty of money and resources to share. We are able to do that. We are not the most powerful nation on earth for nothing. We do create huge technologies, sciences that benefit everybody, we hope, they're at least capable of benefiting everybody, and the Democrats want to make sure that happens. So they are willing uh, to have taxes levied and for income to be shared. That's why I am a Democrat, because I think I was born into it. My own parents' experience was very rough. They were born in the early 1900s. My father's father was a Gloucester fisherman who sailed out of Gloucester Harbor uh, on the Massachusetts coast. My mother was a Maine girl, and she took up public health nursing because she saw uh, her father was a lumberman, a Maine lumberman, and she lived, uh, was born in a cabin in the woods. Um, but she saw the hard lives that the, the rural Maine people had, and it made her sympathetic naturally, too. So my father found my mother. They both shared this deep sensitivity to other people's needs. My father became a minister, and he chose parishes that were lower income because he saw his life long that they needed um, his ministry. And, and part of his story is that um, when he he was 11, his father died of syphilis, which is known as a social disease. You're not supposed to get it. But his father had contracted it and probably became, uh, started staggering and having very bizarre behaviors at home. It was very embarrassing uh, and certainly shameful when it was discovered what it was. But he did die of the insanity of syphilis. And then two years later, my father himself came down with tuberculosis. And the doctor told his mother that she was going to have to send him inland to get him away from the moist sea air and um, where he would be able to work outdoors and have plenty of sunshine um, and rest as he needed it. So from the time that he was in eighth grade until he was, when, well, until he was 21, he worked on the farm. But the farmer who, who indentured him, basically, um, was a wise and kindly man. And he saved half of my father's earnings aside. And when my father was 21, he gave him that money and sent him to a private school where um, the other boys teased him and called him Hiram. Um, it didn't matter. It made my father a very sensitive man. And it's in our home, what we did at lunchtime, we ate people for lunch because that's where the, where the conversation was always heading. And so I come to you to bring the people's message into your awareness. Mm -hmm.